Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I worship you tonight. I love you tonight, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your mercy and your grace. I thank you for all things that pertain to life and godliness. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. God, I love you tonight. You're the maker of heaven and earth, oh God. Thank you. I respect your sovereignty, God. Even if I don't understand, I respect your sovereignty because I trust you. I trust you, Father. I thank you, Father, for this broadcast tonight, oh God. I thank you for the word that you've given me, God. I thank you for the upgrade. I thank you for the revelation. want to stay in the momentum of your spirit, Father. Wash me in the blood of the Lamb and cleanse me from all unrighteousness, Father. God, if we ever needed you, we need you now. As things are shifting and shaking, God. Oh, God, we need you now. I thank you for this time. In your presence, I thank you that we're under open heaven tonight, oh God. I thank you for that. Holy Spirit, oh, we welcome you. I welcome you into this segment of my assignment. I thank you for it. I thank you for it. I bless everyone that's under the sound of my voice tonight, God. I, I thank you. I thank you. For a throne room meeting tonight, oh God. Speak to us by your spirit other than what you've given me today. Every extra ounce of revelation that you bestow upon us tonight, oh God. We're grateful for it. I thank you. I thank you. And Satan, I bind you. I bind every scheme, every scam, every trap that you would have set against myself and anyone that's under the sound of my voice. I bind you in Jesus' name and I loose you from your assignment on tonight. God, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the, plead the blood of Jesus over this broadcast. I plead the blood of Jesus over the moment. Warring angels, I command you to battle for me in the spirit as I deliver this word tonight. I thank you. I thank you. God, I worship you tonight, and I honor you tonight, and I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory tonight, Father. It all belongs to you, my Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, in Jesus' matchless name. I'm so excited tonight. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hallelujah. There's something different about the child of God. Everything about us is different. We are a peculiar people set apart from by God himself, for himself, my God, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank him that he chose us from before the foundations of the world. I, I thank him, hallelujah, as, as, I, as I talked to him today and I talked to him on yesterday. I just, I just became so grateful in my heart that he put us in a dying world and gave us a victory to win. I, I love him for that. There is a way. There is a way of escape. There is a way, my God. Hallelujah. And I ask the Lord to direct our steps as he navigates us through this word. I ask him to grant us the capacity to receive what he's saying to us tonight, my God. May we never be the same again, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, be the head in the days ahead. Be the head in the days ahead. My God. So the Lord is saying on this supernatural, no nonsense day that I'm calling forth 
a radical ready people to rule and reign with me in troubled times. My God, my God, I, I, I need to rule and reign with Christ. I, I, I need you to understand the importance of us ruling and reigning with Christ. My God, it's not a, a part-time opportunity. This is a full-time lifestyle through Christ Jesus, our Lord. My God, and I'm learning, and, and I pray tonight that you hear by the Spirit of God tonight the importance of ruling and reigning with Christ in the midst of chaos. God, I love you tonight. He says, those who are committed to being flexible by faith are now being led by my spirit into new assigned positions selected by my spirit and it's based on the sovereignty of my perfect will for their lives. I need to read that to you again because he's saying to us as I'm shaking the nations I'm rearranging the righteous my God uh, to be in favorable positions uh, in this earth realm my God hallelujah so that we're representing the kingdom well my God my God and our needs are being taken care of. My God, I thank him. Listen to this. Those who are committed to being flexible by faith are now being led by my spirit into new assigned positions selected by my spirit and it's based on the sovereignty of my perfect will for their lives. You know what I hear the Holy Ghost saying? I know what you need when you need what you need. I know what you need before you can recognize what you need. Help me Holy Ghost. He says, I can tell you by the spirit of the living God that we have been updated from his throne room as he is making room for the righteous to rule and reign with Christ. My God, my God, he's making room for us. He's making room for us. My God, hallelujah. Don't think lack. Whatever you do in this season, don't think lack. Hallelujah, my God. And I hope, my God, I hope you're tithing. I hope you're tithing, but don't think lack. Help me, Holy Ghost. He says, I can tell you by the Spirit of the living God uh, that we are being updated from his throne room as he is making room for the righteous to rule and reign with Christ. He says, this is not playtime. It's know what to say time. My God, this is not play time. You've got to know what to say in this time. God, I thank you. He says it's time to be the head in the days ahead. My God, my God, remember, if you're losing, it's what you're choosing. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Lord is saying he's positioning the righteous uh, in the spirit to rule by his spirit, in the spirit and in the natural. And only what we rule by his spirit will remain subject to us uh, when our obedience is complete in him. My God, my God, I need to say that again. Stay close tonight. We're having a supernatural Holy Ghost conversation my god and i'm just repeating to you what the spirit of the lord said to me on yesterday and today hallelujah and i love the lord i love the lord because there's a momentum that he wants us to stay in and it's the momentum of his spirit upon our lives my god so we're not lagging behind in the spirit and complaining with all the doubters my jesus help me help me jesus hallelujah the Lord is saying he is repositioning the righteous in the spirit to rule by his spirit in the spirit and in the natural and only what we rule by his spirit, not your spirit, only what we rule by his spirit will remain subject to us when our obedience is complete in him. You know, I was thinking about that just a little while ago and, you know, we have so much rebellion in the earth. My God, forget about uh, the earth realm. What about your household? Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. And when we have disobedient parents uh, that are not obedient to Christ, we have disobedient children. That's just the way it is. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Now, listen, the Apostle Paul is having an authoritative apostolic conversation in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and his boldness in Christ is on display. My God, go with me to the Holy Scriptures. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4, 5, and 6. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4, 5, and 6. He says, 
The weapons we fight with are not weapons of this world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. My God. And we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. The Holy Ghost is having a conversation with us tonight and I want you to keep your inner ear open. Help me Holy Ghost. It's very important that you get this tonight because the Holy Spirit is teaching us how we can stay hooked up with him so as we go through our day whatever we rule and reign through Christ becomes subject to us because our obedience is complete to him. Oh help me tonight Holy Ghost. Help me tonight Holy Ghost. So the Apostle Paul is speaking from a place of experience and authority. He tested his power and authority through Christ on the battlefield, and he knows exactly what he experienced through Christ. And as children of the Most High God, we have the same power through Christ to demolish, meaning to annihilate and destroy demonic strongholds that attempt to hold our minds captive, Michael. I pray by the spirit of the living God tonight that those who are under the sound of my voice, that their minds are released from captivity tonight in Jesus' name. So this is not a time to sedate your mind because of worry and anxiety. Drugs, whether you drink it, smoke it, snort it, inject it, or patch it, will never bring real, authentic, permanent relief. I need to say that again because people are taking all kinds of things today. People are being introduced to drugs for the first time because of this pandemic. I don't care if you can get it over the, uh, 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 the, at the drugstore. You might have a prescription designed to keep you sedated, but I'm challenging you tonight by the spirit of the living God. If you would surrender your heart to God, if you would get right with God, you're not going to have any issues, my God, with any kind of instability whatsoever. I hear the Holy Ghost. I heard the Holy Ghost say just now, some of y'all need to take the challenge to go cold turkey. Help me, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, help me tonight. Uh, the Apostle Paul is speaking again from a place of experience and authority. He tested his power and authority through Christ on the battlefield, and he knows exactly what he experienced through Christ. My God, my God. So the Lord is saying, this is not a time to sedate our mind because of worry and anxiety. Drugs, whether you drink it, smoke it, snort it, or inject it, or patch it, will never bring real, authentic, permanent relief. Obedience to Christ has supernatural side effects uh, that release his power directly into our situations. My God, this is why I keep saying to us tonight, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit talked to us even on last week about, you know, the obedience line and how the devil cannot cross the obedience line, but he will battle you until you get ready to cross that obedience line, but he can't cross over with you. But the minute that you cross that obedient, that obedience line, there's supernatural side effects that, that is released, my God, into our situation immediately by the power of God himself. So this is why we have to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. You know, as I go through my day, if I find myself thinking things that are off, I say, wait a minute, Lydia, that is not God. So you've got to start interacting, help me, Holy Ghost, with your own deliverance. You know what you've been delivered from, and you know that the enemy is going to bring stuff right back to you, come on, to make you, uh, 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 to seduce you to go back into what you've been delivered from. But when those thoughts come, you've got to stop it while it's going down. You've got to open your mouth, and you've got to say, devil, I've been delivered from that. Mm -mm. I don't think like that no more. I'm not going back there anymore. I'm not calling them anymore. I'm not taking that drink anymore. More. Oh, you got to you got to open your mouth and speak because we're not wrestling with no kind of flesh and blood. Help me, Holy Ghost. So, so this is why we have to take every thought and make it obedient to Christ. Obedience to Christ is more powerful than any drug you can take. 
Obedience to Christ is more powerful than any drug that you can take. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Lord is saying when we radically pursue our obedience to him, we intentionally position ourselves to pursue his power. My God, my God, I heard the Holy Ghost. It's time for us to intentionally position ourselves in Christ and pursue his power. I am after the power and the authority of God in my life. I'm after it. I've got to have it every single day because we're dealing with a real devil and he only respects the name of Jesus, which is greatest in the heavens, in the earth, and under the earth. He does not respect your tears. You can worry all night long. The demons are going to be there to make you worry even more. But when you open your mouth to shut that devil down, when you bind him and rebuke him, my God, and you begin to stand in the victory that you know that you have through Christ Jesus, you are going to see a difference in your life. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, you will. Oh, yes, you will. Help me, Holy Ghost. So the Lord is saying when we radically pursue our obedience to him, we intentionally position ourselves to pursue his power. And you know what? It's time to demolish some things. It is time to demolish some things. Help me, Holy Ghost. In other words, the Lord is saying, there is a supernatural strategy for being obedient to Christ in troubled times. Listen, church, listen up now. Listen up. It's time to win. I believe we can win 24-7, 365, because that's how much his victory is available to us. We have non-stop victory in Christ. There's no stop and go in a holy flow. We have non-stop victory through Christ. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. So, hallelujah. So, not only are we led by his Holy Spirit, he can navigate us and reveal to us uh, what he wants us to see and empower us not to open our mouths. Why is he saying this? Because some of us talk too much before we carry out the Lord's directives. Some of us talk too much before we carry out the Lord's directives. And he's telling us he needs to navigate us and reveal some things to us in these troubled times uh, and not so that we can talk about it. My God, he may need us to interact with a particular situation. He may want us to be a part of a particular situation. He may want us to, 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 to sow a seed somewhere, but you don't have to talk about it. Just do what God tells you to do. It's time to follow his directives huh? so you can get the result, the full result of what it means to obey God. Help me, Holy Ghost. Some of us just need to shut our mouths, my God, and let God have his way. Don't get in his way. And a lot of us, we get in our way with our mouths. Watch it now. We got to watch it. We got to watch it. And the Lord is saying, huh? When we are spirit-led and spirit-fed, he can navigate us past the living dead. My God, Jesus, help me. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. You know, I had an experience. I was walking down the street one day, and I saw this demon coming towards me completely out of his mind. This demon had completely taken over this individual, and he was harassing people as he was coming down the street. And I was ready in my spirit because, you know, demons recognize the spirit of Christ in you and they know who they can cut up with. Huh? Come on. And they know who they can't cut up with. And I'm walking down the street and I said, in the name of Jesus, I'm, I'm ready. In the name of Jesus, devil, I bind you in Jesus' name. I saw that devil a block away. I bind him up a block away. And let me tell you something. When I walked past that devil, that devil tried to run past me. Help me, Holy Ghost. You have power and you have authority in Christ Jesus. And he wants our obedience complete in him. My God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Why? The Lord is saying, I'm moving by my spirit in a mighty way. As you are led by my spirit, oh, you're going to know what to say. As I show you what I see, I will empower you to do it. My God, demonic schemes are raging and we must be obedient on cue. Don't blame others, my God, for what you're not willing to do. Help me, Holy Ghost. That's the poetic prophetic word. We've got to follow him on cue 
and don't blame others for what you're not willing to do. And don't even be jealous when other people are getting results from this word and you're not getting results because you're not following it. That is the only reason why. Help me, Holy Ghost. He says, and don't blame others hallelujah, because you choose to be out of step. My God, he says, only I can keep you if you really want to be kept. That is the truth. If you want to be kept by God, he'll keep you. Remember, our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is not a one-sided love affair. If you want him to keep you, oh, you will be kept. He says, there's a place in Christ where obedience rules. Jesus there's a place in Christ where obedience rules. My God, radically ready means being geared up and equipped through Christ, prepared for the task or the assignment. It means being on standby and ready for takeoff. My God, and the Lord is saying in a radical ready position, in this position, there's an interacting with his spirit. It's where we experience his completeness in us moving us forward into what he's already done without hesitation jesus jesus and let me let me just let me just stay right here take it in because i hear the holy ghost breaking it down for us and he's saying help me holy ghost when we walk in obedience to him there's a supernatural ease where, where we're easily led by his spirit help me holy ghost and then we have access to interact with the completeness of who he is to us my god and we move so 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 obediently and so freely in that uh, submission to our obedience to christ that it's no hesitation whatsoever that's the momentum we've got to walk in in troubled times i tell you i tell you you can understand what's happening today relative to the sign of the times and it's only the authenticity of your relationship with Jesus Christ in obedience to his word that's going to keep you. I already realized that. Nobody can keep me but Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. Nobody. And nobody can keep you but Jesus. I don't care if your house is crowded. You better have a personal relationship with the Lord, my God. And the Lord is saying, my God, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's saying in, 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 in this no-nonsense time slot, wherever the Lordship of Jesus Christ doesn't exist, his resurrection power doesn't exist. There might be power, but there's no greater authority and power than that of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My God, nothing matches this power. Nothing, no witch, no warlock, nothing matches the power and authority of our resurrection power through Jesus Christ, my God. And the Lord is asking us, are we ready? He says, if we died with him, we will live with him according to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 11. And his resurrection radical power. And it takes a radical ready people who are subject to the leading of his Holy Spirit to handle this power and authority. My God, my God. It takes a radical ready people who are subject to the leading of his Holy Spirit to handle this power and authority. My God. And the Lord is saying, when his assignment was complete through his resurrection, our assignment began to walk in his completeness. So let me say it again. Because, because, when he finished, at that finished work at Calvary's cross, when he went into hell and threw back principalities and powers, come on, when he rose from the dead, there was a completeness established, my God. And when he finished his assignment, our assignment became ready for us to be complete in him. Oh God, I thank you for that. And only a radical ready people can step into the fullness of who I am, says the Lord. Only a radical ready people can step into the fullness of who I am, says the spirit of the living God. My God, my God, hallelujah. And by faith, and by faith, 
and by faith we do what he's already done. My God. He says, it's my sovereignty. Oh my God. It's my sovereignty and my sovereign will that no one ever take you captive again. I want you to understand the love of God for us is so intense and is so strong that he never wants us to be taken captive. And the only reason we're taken captive is because we're not living and moving and having our being in Christ. And we're following another spirit. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. And the Lord is reminding us to put on the whole armor of God. My God. And there is no armor for our back. Why? because he backed us up from the grave. My God, Jesus, help me, Holy Ghost. It's time to put on the whole armor of God and there's no armor for our back because he backed us up from the grave. My God, his goodness and mercy is following us right now, according to Psalm 23 and six. And it's time to be radically ready, says the spirit of the living God, why? He says, as I'm shaking the nations, Troubled times will intensify. Listen, church, listen closely, because things are not going to get any better. So we have to upgrade our walk in Christ to handle the intensity of the times. My God, my God, the times may not get better, but we can become more powerful in God. Oh, I love God for that. As I'm shaking the nations, Troubled times will intensify, and we must be determined not to walk in a lie. Jesus, don't misread the sign of the times, and don't follow those who are blind. The Lord is saying, I'm making a clear distinction of those who are mine. I want to tell you there's a separating factor going on in the body of Christ, because judgment is already in the in the land, judgment is across the United States of America. Judgment is in the pulpit to the back door. Come on, from the White House to the outhouse. God is judging this nation. He's judging the nations of the world. My God, my house and your house. And it's time to get right when nobody is looking. It's just you and God, my God. So you will be able to withstand the days ahead. He says you've got to be the head in the days ahead. This is no joke. This is real. This is real. This is who we are in Christ. This is our momentum by his spirit. And he's given us instruction and direction tonight to walk therein, my God, so you can be empowered. I'm empowered. I can empower you and you can go and help somebody else. Oh, God, help me tonight. The Holy Scriptures testify in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. And I'm going to break it down as I go along. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 17. My God, my God. And I heard the Holy Ghost say, uh, men and women of God who are ready for the task, uh, they've got to put on their armor and take off the mask. My God, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, Help me, Holy Ghost, my God, my God. Ephesians chapter 6, uh, verses 10 to 17, verse 10. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand uh, against the devil's schemes. What is he saying? He says, although I tell you to dress for battle, the battle is not yours, according to 2 Chronicles 20 and 15. But I'm telling you to stay dressed for battle, says the Lord, so that no matter how hard the enemy throws a blow at you, I don't want you to feel the impact of me blocking him. My God, Jesus, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you, Holy Ghost. I need to read that to you again. Help me, Holy Ghost. The Lord is saying, although I tell you to dress for battle, it is not your battle, according to 2 Chronicles 20 and 15. And I'm telling you to stay, stay dressed for battle, so no matter how hard the enemy is coming at you, my God, you won't feel the impact of me blocking him away from you. Jesus, you 
know, I can feel the warfare going on right now. You know how you can feel the warfare? Because uh, in, in the moment as you're battling, as you're believing the word of God, uh, you have all of these influences in the spirit, all of these negative uh, uh, thoughts that the enemy is trying to throw at you while you're pressing through into the things of God. Help me, Holy Ghost, but I bind that devil up. I bind him in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against me and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Thank you, Father, for your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. But it's against rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. My God. So we, we must understand uh, that this is not a flesh and blood fight. The days of you getting upset because somebody said something to you, the days of us getting upset because somebody is talking about us, that, uh, no, 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 that's low life. That's low life. We're living the life in Christ, and you should not be getting upset anymore because somebody is allowing a devil to use them against you. No, no, no. You look behind the action, you check out the spirit, and you bind that devil up, and you pray for your brother or your sister. You pray their strength in the Lord. Some people don't even realize that the enemy is using them, and some people don't even care that the enemy is using them because their flesh is not under control. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Don't you waste your time getting upset with nobody because they said something about you. It is not worth it. You're getting mad with a devil. Oh, God, help me when you can rebuke him and bind him. So he's telling us this is not a flesh and blood fight. My God, my God. And when we understand the importance of God and the leading of his Holy Spirit to be strong in his might, we won't have a flesh and blood fight. My God, remember, when we are spirit-led and spirit-fed, God will cause us and empower us to walk past the living dead. My God, my God, stay with me. I am almost finished. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 13. Stay with me. Therefore, Put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, uh, you may be able to stand your ground. Uh, and after you have done everything, stand. I heard the Holy Ghost say, some of us can't do anything else in our lives right now but stand. And I tell you by the Spirit of the living God, there's an open window of grace for you to take a stand tonight. There's an open window of grace for you to take a stand tonight. My God, my God, right now, take that stand. There's some things that we've got to get over in order for it to be over. There's some things that we've got to get over so they don't take us over. But there's some things we've got to get over in order for it to be over. Oh God, what is the Holy Ghost saying tonight? Help me, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, help me. There's some things that we have to get over in order for it to be over. There's some things that you can no longer pay attention to because you give it the power to rule you. Help me, Holy Ghost. When you start ignoring some things, you reduce the effectiveness of its power to overtake you until you are strong enough to just shut that thing down. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 14. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Uh, my God, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. My God, my God, my God. Ephesians 6 and 14. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place. My God, what is he saying? When we stand firm in Christ, uh, his gospel truth is our stabilizer. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I just love that so much. I love that so much. When we stand firm, there's a firmness. There's a firmness that we can stand in in Christ where his truth becomes the stabilizer of our soul. Help me, Holy Ghost, and not our truth. 
See, when the gospel truth begins to stabilize you, you got to put your truth on the sideline because it's your truth that's in having you upset all day long. Help me, Holy Ghost. His truth empowers and overpowers our version of what we thought was true. Jesus, help me. And based on our opinions, which are coming to nothing, my God, and it can never overpower the word of God. We're looking for the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ as we stand firm in his truth. My God, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 15. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. I just love this. With your feet fitted with the readiness that comes uh, from the gospel of peace. Uh, and the Lord is saying, uh, we won't even go to a shoe store and purchase the wrong size shoe because it won't fit. My God, my God. Therefore, it's his supernatural peace that fits any situation that we're in. My God. And Jesus told us, my God, my God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus told us this. He, he says, hey, my peace I give you. My peace I leave with you. So, so it's his supernatural peace that fits any situation in our lives and provides a steadiness and a readiness. My God, that makes us sure-footed. Jesus, that makes us sure-footed to stand in his peace. My God, that only his, his gospel can provide. I love God just for that. Because God knows we're not going to go and buy a pair of shoes that hurt our feet. Because mm -mm. we ain't going to wear them. But when you try the supernatural peace of God, it's a stabilizer and it fits any situation that we're in. That's what I love about God. That's what I love about the supernatural peace of God. It sustains you and it could fit in any situation that you're going through right now. You can have the peace of God right now because it fits right there. Oh God, I love you on tonight. Ephesians 6 and 16. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, uh, which you will extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Let me read it again. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 16. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith which with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. What is he saying? When we take up the shield of faith, it quenches all of the devil's flaming arrows. Faith is a realm that the enemy never had access to. Faith is a realm where the enemy never had access to. And Jesus told us in Mark eleven twenty two, 22, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Jesus told us that. Mark eleven twenty two, 22, have faith in God. So the devil is throwing flaming arrows all day long. My God, my God, we need a faith blocker. We need a faith blocker. You need to put up your shield of faith. It, it's, it, it, it blocks the devil. It blocks the devil. Your shield of faith, my God, blocks the devil. It's a faith blocker. And it's called believing God. It's taking God at his worth. By faith, we believe. By faith, we believe. My God, my God. By faith, we believe. I want you to get that tonight. The word of God, by faith, we believe. By faith, we believe. Put up your shield of faith. My God, my God. Our last scripture, Ephesians 6 and 17. Take on the helmet uh, of salvation and the sword of the spirit, uh, which is the word of God. Uh, and the Lord is saying, it's his holy word that's the sword of the spirit that protects our mind. My God, uh, his holy word is designed to cut off demonic thoughts. Jesus, help us tonight. Help us tonight. And there are some places that the enemy has been eternally blocked out of. He's been eternally blocked out of. My God. And in troubled times, the Lord is commanding us to pray and search the scriptures like never before. 
make sure you're taking time to read your Bible. You need the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what the Word of God is saying. That's the revelation that you get when you read in obedience to the Word of God. And read the Word with a clean heart and stop looking for scriptures, my God, that help you stay in the situation that you're in. Because, you know, we can justify our own darkness, but the God is invading us tonight with his truth according to his scriptures, my God. So when he says, when you search for me, you're going to find me. And in troubled times, uh, be able to live in me and through me and position you to be radically ready no matter how big or small the assignment, Jesus. No matter what you're going through, the word of God can handle it. No matter what you're going through, the peace of God is a perfect fit for you. My God, thank you, Jesus. And the Lord is saying, I'm about to close. Those who are committed to being flexible by faith. Those who are committed to be flexible by faith. My God, you got to get to that place where, God, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I know you're going to do it. And I'm going to believe that you're doing it for me right now. Be flexible by faith, my God, because we are now being led by his spirit into new assignments and new positions in the earth realm, my God. And it's all based on the sovereignty of his perfect will for our lives, my God. He designed our lives. He knows exactly what you need when you need what you need, how much you need of whatever you need, and he knows how to get it to you. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. He says, he says, I tell you by my spirit right now, we're being updated from the throne room. My God, he's making room for the righteous in the days ahead to rule and reign with Christ. My God, this is not a playtime. This is a time to know what to say. It's not a playtime. You got to know what to say in this time. I thank God. I thank God. And he wants us to be the head in the days ahead. My God, I hope you receive something tonight. I hope your life is never the same again tonight. Uh, I hope that you're empowered uh, by the Spirit of God on tonight, uh, that you can see your situation from God's perspective and know that nothing that you're going through is greater than the God we serve. Nothing that you're going through is greater than the God we serve. God, we love you tonight. God, we love you tonight. And you've got to remember what the Spirit of the Lord said to us. It's time to surrender some things. It's time to get over some things so those things don't overtake you. It's time to get over some things. Just let it go. Just let it go. Don't let it impede your progress in Christ anymore. I want to close in prayer. Father, we worship you. We thank you for every word that you spoke to our hearts tonight. Thank you that you're a stabilizer to a troubled soul. You're the mind regulator, God. And we thank you for that tonight. We decide uh, by faith, God, we're making a choice to walk in obedience to your word, Father, where there's supernatural side effects. I thank you, Father, that obedience to your word is more powerful than any drug might. I thank you and praise you for that tonight. I bind the enemy tonight. I bind the spirit of retaliation that we're trying to come up against this word on tonight in the matchless name of Jesus. And I, I loose it from its assignment. Uh, my God, I decree growth for you. My God, in the month of August, you will spring up and spring forth. God, I thank you, Father, for the new thing that you're doing within us, God. Uh, hallelujah. Updating us uh, by your word, Father. Bringing us into more of who you are to us, Father. I thank you, Father, that every need is met according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. God, I thank you for that. We find our safe place in you tonight. Strengthen us even now the more. We thank you as we offer you a fresh surrender. Because we're determined to be the head 
in the days ahead. In Jesus' matchless name, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you.